Hello guys, we had seen the video before where I tried to run control panel in modern explorer without reloading it. What I mean? Well, since Windows 10 version 1903, now when you open a control panel by running file explorer, going to more options and you select control panel, the explorer window will close itself and then it runs a new instance of this control panel. But why? Well, because when we go to this up arrow, You now know why. Because the modern explorer is not what you just see here. It's just some add-ons on top of the window file explorer and it's not a built-in feature. So why it then closes the file explorer and then runs the control panel? Because the UI elements will be broken when we will be in the control panel. So then the explorer decides to shut down these UI like tabs or etc and it will enable the old classic functions that were from Windows 10. They all work well. But what if we somehow manage to open control panel with those elements? Let's find it out. I already showcased them that it exists some one DLL commands that will open a control panel of a folder that is in control panel when you go to the arrow key. But what if if I say that we can break it even more, well, when we go to win our tweaker, well, this program makes you a little bit of control over Windows because you can change all these stuff, like for example, enabling the classic taskbar. But when we go even here down, file explorer tab. and here you can change basically anything inside file explorer. That includes also this tree view. Like for example, you can some other stuff or like customize the, this PC folder, like adding here some folders to this PC, or you can choose from what will the explorer start from. But wait, why I say that? That you can customize the navigation pane. Well, because over the custom items, you can add basically a shell location. And shell location are these folders. For example, some already didn't work or are some broken stuff or like 3D object. That's a shell function all here inside. And here by them is also got mode. That's this. But what about the control panel section? So there are two control panels that we can test it out. So one will run, but the another... Okay, it's the same thing. But when we add this to the navigation pane, it will not show up here because we need to restart the file explorer. And there we are, have it. But look what happened when I click on this. Look at that. We have control panel in a new tab. And well, when we here go, for example, to other items like system security, it will reload. But the another control panel will not work. I don't know why even when I go to the new window, new tab, nothing. But we can also go to new tab and it will work but okay when we go to large icons etc it will just reload but not exactly at all because you can even collapse this one and you can collapse even more you know what the experiment is look like we can go for example to another tab without reloading the control panel but even when i try some Thing like this it will just reload always scan this section okay the default programs or the program file oh okay well okay some of the applets will just be reloaded what about fonts oh okay so what about when we type here something to the others bar for example this always yeah. scan this section yep okay so that's basically it. but when i go to my mine explorer and type this PC, then 
you goose it, I already have the control panel. And this version is actually a newer version, 24H2. And here it gets more broken. So as you can see, when I go to control panel also this way, it also reloads the file explorer. But when we go to the control panel inside this PC, it will just load fine. And even it will load the stuff. What will happen when I go this, then do some applets here, then go to up arrow key. Wait, I will also some little experiment with this. And yep, okay, so we got here the older one. Um, okay, I didn't know how to get the back, but well, I have the recording, so I don't know why that happened. And I think it is that the control panel is really broken right now. And well, yeah, Microsoft is going to ever these settings, remove these, and well, add them to the new settings app. Well, yeah, if you find this video interesting, please like and subscribe if you want. And well, we see you in the next time. Bye.